What's up, guys? I'm Tim Geddes. I'm here with Greg Miller. Four. Oh man, get it? Cause Ooh, we're hitting the links the golf, in Mario golf game. Mario we're golf playing Toastool. Mario Golf Toadstool Tour uh -huh. for the GameCube. We're doing this in our Nintendo's 125th anniversary. That's exciting. It's, it's very a lot exciting. of history. It's yeah. a lot of good games. It's hard to believe they're making video games for 125 years. But here we are. <laughs> Something like that. But so this is the second game in the Mario Golf series. Is that correct? Franchise. You're sure about that fact? Was there was there a Game Boy Color one? Mm, I'm reading here. Because there's the N64 one. Yeah. Here, from Wikipedia, Mario Golf Toadstool Tour is the sequel to the 1999 Nintendo 64 title Mario Golf and is the fifth game in the Mario Golf series. Oh, okay. So they might be counting the, the old... The fifth game! The NES, like the NES Open Golf Tournament or whatever it was called that Mario was like the referee uh, yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and try to, try That's to figure cheap. it out a little bit. That's cheating. I think there might have been a Game Boy Color one, though, so this might be the third one. Okay, whatever. You're just, you're just getting around and doing This is stuff. the second console game titled Mario Golf. I can say that for sure. You can say that with some belief in your facts being right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm the one who picked it. Mm -hmm. This is another one where they're like, Greg, pick some things to do. Think I'm a, you got Toadstool Tour on there? They're like, yeah, of course, it's one of the best <laughs> 125 games. I'm like, I'm in. Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. I talked about this. If you haven't seen it yet, we did a double dash mm. commentary. Yes, we did. I talked about my b the big tube TV in our basement yeah. and how we all played it, and we had a house full of guys in college, and this is what we did is all we did was play GameCube. Mario Golf was on another level of even compared to – I mean, these are they're, Mario Kart and Mario Golf are the ones that ran away with our, our time and stuff, mm -hmm. but Mario Golf was a much slower pace game, obviously. Yeah. And, methodical, yeah, and it was one you'd watch your friends play, you know what I mean? Like, we'd sit there and see, like, what was happening. And then I'd come home, and Booth and Travis were trying to figure out all these different things and trying to see who could get holes in one, and eagles here, and all these different things. They knew what they were up against. <laughs> were you a big fan of the N64 version? No, never played it. Interesting. Mario, like, I was, was I, your... remember, I was a Sega kid. Mm. And so I, I bought an N64, or I didn't even buy it. I got it for Christmas or whatever. And... I was in it for wrestling games. I was in it for uh, GoldenEye, yeah, Smash yeah, yeah. Bros. But I didn't really get crazy with any of the Mario stuff because I was late to the. I played Mario Party. I was mm -hmm. late to the party, but I played Ooh. Mario Party. But there's stuff I just never got into because I was I was a late adopter of the N64 mm -hmm. too. That's crazy. Were you a Saturn kid? I was. Really? I had a Saturn. Yeah. That's. I didn't know that. I thought that the Sega thing ended there. Nah, nah. The story goes that I when it was time to buy, I want to you know when. You know, uh, Saturn's out, 64 is out. Uh, I, for a birthday, I believe, no, for Christmas, I think. You know, it was my birthday. It was, it, I'm glad I was wasting time telling you something that didn't even matter. For my birthday, I was like, Mom, I want, you know, the N64 for my birthday. And she's like, Are you, and I gave her the Toys R Us ad. She's like, Are you sure you don't want the Sega Saturn? You've been a Sega kid forever. And I went, You know what, Mom, you're, you're right. right. And I was like, And well, then I got it so like, funny. Oh. That was my dreams. Vader scream. But Mario Golf, yeah, so by the time I got to college, I, I went to college and lived with a bunch of Nintendo fanboys, and they turned me on to the GameCube and yeah. had all these amazing things, and, you know, chief among them, of course, was Mario Golf, and that's when I fell in love with it, and, you know, recently I put 90 hours into the DS game. Yeah. It's not an exaggeration. Those are that, there's yeah, a you guys clock. were obsessed with that. So here's what's funny. I am one of those Nintendo fanboys. Yeah. I love Nintendo, huge fan of majority of their franchises. But way too hard. I was more of a hotshot golf guy. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't. I mean, for all my PlayStation fanboy biases that people will make, I'm sure are bringing up in the comments, I'm way rusty at this. This is a different kind of putting, clearly. I'm going to let it go way out and come back. That's what I should have been. What? What the hell? Right, yeah, I remember uh, with Hot Shots Golf, it was one of those demo games where I had the demo disc and I played that demo so many times. Yeah. But that was it. I never actually really like got into the game. And with with these games, I just it Jeez. never clicked with me. <laughs> I remember I rented the N64 version on um, from Blockbuster. Yeah. Twice to try to like get it. Maybe I was just young and dumb, but it just didn't click for me. But this is great. Are you this watching is this? Just great. What is? What am I doing wrong? Uh, why don't I remember how to putt in Mario Golf Toe Seal Tour? But I love that the Koopa's just making his little Koopa noise at you. Wow! 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 There you go. I'll get it done. Yeah, Plus there you go. four on hole one. Aww. Aww. Hey, hey. And he shoots in his thing. Yeah. 
That's the best animation. There, there you go. See, this is the thing. Booth, my, my roommate mm. in college, he used to only play with the Koopa. Mm. And so he, when the Koopa does his birdie dance, whereas he floats off the air and wiggles his arm, yeah. Booth would get up and do that in the living room. I like that. And everybody was like, Booth, you're weird. Yeah. Now, video games, man, their little victory animations are something special. That and the idle animation. I'm not going to lie. I felt really good about that up until the putt. Mm. Then everything went to hell. Oh, wow. I'm feeling good about this one, Greg. Bam. That, nice was, that was a nice Ooh. shot. Yeah, Hot Shots Golf, uh, I, of course, I didn't, I bought a PlayStation 1 after I traded in my N64, and then got an, an uh, You had quite the journey here. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? So then, after I did all that, that's when I got an, a PlayStation 1, so I didn't even know about Hot Shots Golf. Is it automatic? Whatever. Uh, until PSP. PSP's the first mm. time I ever played Hot Shots Golf, and I fell in love there, because it was yeah. just Mario Golf without Mario. Yeah. Which I, and I missed Mario. I missed the characterization. Yeah. This. It's getting ugly out here. There's something crazy, too, just about the GameCube era. And GameCube specifically, like, everything had a look to it. Like, I remember the N64 PlayStation era where PlayStation games looked like triangles and squares. Yeah, yeah. N64 games looked like circles and blurry smushes. Yeah. Saturn, I don't know. Saturn looked like you know, nobody ever watched it, so nobody yeah. knows what it looks like. <laughs> but uh, GameCube has this, like, really bright, vibrant feel to it yeah. that, like, the PS2 didn't have, yeah, the Xbox sure, didn't sure, have. Yeah, sure, sure, It was colorful. It was a colorful world. Yeah. And, and I feel like Nintendo never lost that, right? Mm -hmm. Like, they had it with 64. I mean, that's always been their calling card, right? You're yeah. talking about platforms being one thing. I think just in general, like a brand, right? Like, mm -hmm. the way they, the Nintendo brand looks. It's always looked colorful and bright like this. I mean, because of that, like, a lot of the games to this day still look amazing. Like, this looks really good. I mean, there's so much little effects and stuff, like the sky, there's like all this wind and stuff, yeah. and it's it's really cool to see today. Some things don't change. Oh, yeah. Of course, <laughs> Mario Golf World Tour. Mm. Better game. You and I love Toadstool Tour, don't get me yeah, wrong. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I, I, you know, I'm sitting here saying one's better than the other, but I'll let you know. Yeah. If you aren't playing World Tour, you need to get it together. Well, the thing here, too, is there like... Here we go. The thing here from Tim. It's just the memories. Oh, you know? yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Memories make especially these older games, just oh. so much better because it's like, no matter how much better the sequel might be, sure. it'll never be as It'll better. never be the same. Yeah, yeah, 100%. That, and that's what I think always my big knock against uh, trying to go, go, golf again. I think, you know, the what I love about golf, right, and the memories we had was sitting there talking about golf. Mm. Not so much playing against each other, which we did do, of course. Mm -hmm. But like, And that's why golf on DS is still stands, and I'm like, this is amazing. Whereas Mario Kart, it was the... We played. We unlocked everything in one night. We did yeah. all this stuff together, and I don't have that anymore, you know, not... Living with my friends, right? Oh, yeah. A bunch of crazy people to go play games like that with. Uh-huh. Because be if it ain't Dang and Rampa, Colin ain't playing it. <laughs> Gosh darn it. All right. I say we put this one out and just get out of here. Okay. I've just I've ruined my Mario Golf legacy. Everyone knows I'm great at World Tour. <laughs> Bet on it. Toadstool Tour, what started it all. I can't. I can't. You got this anything. next one, I believe. I'm going to toss some grass in the air and see how it goes. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Oh, man. <laughs> Wow. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> there we go. Literally the Jumping worst the Mario thing. Golf I've probably ever played since I first turned on. I guess that's the whole thing, though. It's like learning again, right? Yeah. It's like I've never played the game before. And that's always fun to go back to these old games and see how they differ from the new ones. That yeah. you're, I'm so good at this. And you go back and you're like, I used to be good at this, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, guys, let us know what your memories are of Mario Golf, Toadstool Tour, or any of the Mario Golf games. And, uh... Stay tuned to IGN for way more of these Nintendo anniversary Let's Plays. Yeah.